the deterrent to war was extinction, right? Otherwise, the, the Japanese were not going to stop. My grandfather was a, was a prisoner of war, and they were not good at all to our troops, at all. And nobody likes to talk about it, but at all, right? My grandfather, they had a big ceremony for him when they put that statue up when I was like 14 and stuff like this. And they're like, you're a war hero. And he said, no, I'm not here. I'm just lucky. So I'm just totally lucky. He used to talk about, they'd be out there on the, on the onion fields hoeing, right? He said, and then he says that Japanese general or commander would come out drunk as shit and just start shooting at fucking killing people. He said, and, and, and heaven forbid, your buddy drops right next to you, don't even fucking blink. Just keep hoeing. He'd say, just keep hoeing. Because you'll be next. If you catch their attention, you'll be next. He said, so it was total luck. He says, total luck. You know, he, he got out because he, he escaped because uh, he pretended like he was dead and they threw him on top of the dead bodies. And then for he stayed there for like, I don't know, like a week with dead bodies in a pit. Until he could, uh, felt that he could climb out and escape. And then, uh, and that, but you know, people don't get it. Man, war is real, right? But this surgical war stuff, it just keeps perpetuating it all, perpetuating, right? We stayed in Afghanistan forever, all these things. There has to be casualties. There's not as much consequence. There's no consequence. And again, the deterrent to war is war itself. If, if you don't feel there's a consequence to it, it goes on forever. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars.